Mike talked about how, you know, when you're in a tough spot like you guys have been over the last two weeks, that's not when you galvanize as a team. You galvanize before that. So that being said, with tonight's performance, how much was that a display of, I guess, how, how close you guys are and the mental toughness that you guys already had going into this? Um, well, we knew it wasn't going to be perfect. You know, we, we went through a lot these last two weeks, you know, uh, dealing with this virus and, um, I just think it made us closer, you know, made us play for each other and um, just go out there and play hard for each other and um, just get the win, man. It's all it's all about winning. Well. Malcolm, they get a lot of attention for their wide receivers. Uh, what did it mean to kind of lead the way with the two picks and set up two touchdowns in, in a game where you were able to blow them out? Um, it's all about couple of memory football, you know, uh, get turnovers, uh, try to take the ball to the red zone and, you know, Tannehill, A.J. Brown, Derrick Henry, um, you know, they're going to score for us. So, you know, we just got to play a couple of memory football and play us a unit and, you know, uh, we'll be tough to beat. But we haven't done anything. Four games is not enough in this league. So uh, we just got to continue working and grinding hard and playing together. Teresa? Malcolm, on both of your picks, you had some good returns, particularly the second one. You, you kind of put your hand down to keep yourself up. Uh, how determined were you to try to get as many yards out of those uh, interceptions as possible? Uh, well, you know, I used, to, I used to play offense. So in high school, you know, I always wanted to play offense. So once I get the ball, you know, I'm trying to show my, my skills and my running skills and my vision, you know, whenever I get that chance. Um, because, you know, you don't have many opportunities. Uh, getting the ball when you're playing defensive back. But uh, I was always told, don't go down until you tackle. Uh, I know I scared some of my teammates, and I can hear Mike Verbe telling me to get down and take care of the ball. But, you know, once I get the ball in my hands, I'm always trying to score. Ron? Yeah, Malcolm, can you take me through that, that second interception? It looked like you dropped back or off, of, off of the route underneath. But what happened to confuse Josh Allen on that one? Uh, you know, I just looked back at my post safety, um, and uh, he was just disguising. And, you know, I was on the same page with him. And, you know, we made him think it was something that it wasn't. And, you know, I just came off my man and got back uh, got back in the scene. So uh, just playing good, couple minutes of football, everybody working on the screen together. So that was something that you, you kind of, in essence, fooled him? And if so, was that something that you picked up on in the games that you watched? Um, no, I just knew we was in one coverage, and I seen my, my safety disguise, and so I said, I'm going to make it look like – I'm going to do the same thing he's doing, make it look like whatever we playing. And that's what I did, and that probably, you know, confused him. So, uh, yep, that will happen. Thank you. Lennon? Hey, Malcolm, uh, hope you haven't uh, been asked this already, but just if you could kind of explain, I mean, a lot of people probably didn't give you guys much of a chance here. You know, no game since the 27th of September, uh, very little uh, in the way of practice. How do you explain the guy, the way you guys come out here and, and you know, beat an undefeated team, you know, pretty one-sided? Uh, how does that How does that happen? You know, I'm going to keep it plain and simple. We expected to win. And, you know, we don't need nobody to give us a chance. We give ourselves a chance. And that's exactly what we did tonight. Um, we're a good team. And, you know, if you will, if you will, if you're not, you're not. You know, it's all about those guys on the field. But we expect to win this game, and we're going to act like it. Fuck. What's up, Malcolm? Uh, I, I know that you guys expect to win every game that you play in, but I mean, you gotta, you gotta take some kind of pride in this particular win. What are you most proud of, of this team uh, to be able to pull through on this? Oh, uh, you know, we had, you know, rough 16 days, however many days it was, you know, um, thinking you're going to go to practice one day and then you don't, um, you know, doing zoom meetings, not being able to go to practice and get the reps and things like that. We probably practiced like two days since we've been out of the building. And I'm just proud of everyone that 
you know, stuck with the game plan that John Robinson and uh, Mike Verbal uh, presented to us, and uh, we executed it, did what they asked us to do, and uh, we just stick together, man. We stuck together, and um, we know a lot about adversity. You know, that was one of our key words this week, and um, we ran with it. Yeah, kind of along the same lines, Malcolm. Do you think you guys made some kind of a statement tonight? No, nah, I don't think so. Uh, like I said, we expected to win, and whoever didn't expect us to win, you know, it really don't matter because on things that matters, these guys in this locker room, this whole team, the staff, and no, nah, it's not a statement. And four games not going to get you nowhere in this league. And um, the ultimate goal is to play the last game of the season and win it. So, therefore, you know, we got a long way to go to, you know, um, just got to keep working, man. Two more for you, Mel. Terry? Uh, Malcolm, was there anything uh, when you guys couldn't get together, were there any, like, group text or anything like that where you guys would send each other encouragement, motivation, any of those sorts of things throughout the week? And what, what type of things did you say to each other if you did? Um, you know, some of our leaders would step up and just say, stick together, man. Once we get back on the field, you know, we're going to play hard and play for each other. And, you know, the defense been itching to get out on the, on the field. You know, last time we had a – Last time we had a game, you know, we kind of we won, but we had a, you know, bitter taste in our mouths, and you know we've been waiting to get out there to, you know, get a better taste. But you know, guys are in tech, stick together, uh, don't don't separate from each other. We just gotta stick together and, you know, believe in each other, believe in the game plan that the coaches and John Robinson um, gave us, and um, we got a lot of leaders on this team. Kevin Byer. Ryan Tannehill, you know, those guys, good at what they do on and off the field. So um, it was a lot of uh, good motivational uh, messages. Last question, Beauclair. Malcolm, with, with the pick on the first drive and, and the offense scores a touchdown two plays later, how, how much was that kind of fast start important in terms of putting the last two weeks behind you? Um. You know, you got to put everything behind you once you go out there on the field. But uh, meanwhile, we always talk about a couple of minutes football, and that's the only how we're going to be able to win. And, um, yeah, man, just got to go out there and win and do your job the best way you can and be there for your teammates and just play ball, man. I kind of forgot the question a little bit. <laughs>